and welcome to my channel study with pradipto today i will discuss week 5 assignment 5 answers of the course programming in java please subscribe my channel i will upload all the assignment answers of this course in this channel along with the programming assignments likewise i am doing for all the assignment okay now the first question is which of the following statements are true about finally in java so the finally block is executed regardless of whether an exception is thrown or not so this is true a finally block can exist without a catch block yes it is also true the finally block will not execute if system dot exit is called in the try block so it is the only option to not execute the finally block and question and option number 4 is a finally block can have a return statement but it is not recommended to you so all the options are correct so option d will be the correct answer for question number 1 Now question number two. Consider the following code. So this is the code interface A. Now class B implements A, and this is the method public void display. Now in the from the main method, uh, we created a object of B. Uh, the B object is equal to new B. Then object does display. Okay. So it will call uh, this method display and uh, system dot out dot print and value of x will be ten because uh, this int x uh, will be by default available in this class B as this class B implements A. Okay, so that's why you can see in the output here that the value of x is ten. Okay, now uh, this is option A. Now question number three. Consider the following code. So this is the code. You can see um, the try block is mentioned inside the try block int a equal to five int a equal to zero and system dot out dot print and a by b. So that means uh, a by b means five by zero. So it will create an arithmetic exception. So it will call uh, the that means uh, it will print error and uh, finally. Uh, it will print the complete because if error is generated or not generated, finally block will always execute. Okay, if in the try block there is system dot exit, then at that very moment the finally block will not execute. So this is the only option. So uh, this will print error complete. Okay, you can see that error complete. Now uh, option B will be correct for question number three. Now question number four, which of the following is true regarding abstract class and an interface? So all of the main and options are correct. So A, one, two, and three. Now question number five. Which of the following is a checked exception in Java? So we all know that IO exception is a checked exception. So option C will be correct. Now question number six. Consider the following code. So this is the code interface demo void display. Now class test implement demo public void display. Now uh, public class main. Uh, now uh, from here we call the display method uh, and here it will print hello NPTEL. Okay, you can see the output that hello NPTEL is there. So option A will be correct for question number six. Now question number seven. Uh, consider the following code now interface calculator void calculate now class square implement calculator so this is the uh, function calculate uh, which uh, print the result that is value square now class cube extend square uh, now the result is uh, value cube okay now from the main method we call the calculate uh, and uh, it will print square 9 cube 9 okay you can see that uh, this is the output square 9 and cube 9 Now, uh, question number eight, which keyword is not used by Java during exception handling? So, try is used, catch is used, final is also used, but final is not used. So, final will be the answer of question number eight. Now, question number nine, a method that potentially generates a checked exception must include this keyword in its method signature. So, the answer will be throws because throws keywords is used for a checked exception. So. Uh, question number ten. It is the last question. Consider the following code. This is the code snippet which is given. Now try throw new test catch uh, test t system dot out dot print ln got the test exception and finally is inside the finally block. So it will print got the test exception inside the finally block. Option A. So you can see that uh, the output is this. So option A will be the correct answer for question number ten. So please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video and I will upload all the programming assignment in this channel. So please subscribe. Thank you.